Hey, what is going on guys? Vexing here bringing another Sony Vegas store. So today I'll be showing you how to make this kind of zoom blur transition. So I'll be showing you a couple. One which is when the camera rotates and then one where it like zooms in or zooms out. Now I'm doing these uh, as per request and I've seen this effect used uh, quite a bit recently and it's just a really cool effect and it's pretty simple to do. So yeah, that's pretty it. If you do enjoy, please leave a like or even subscribe, so it's really appreciated. And let's get on with the video. Okay, so here we are in Vegas. Now I've already got an example set up and some footage pre-prepared. So the first one I'm going to show you how to do is this one here. So if I just play this back, and as you can see, that's just the you know basic uh, swoosh from like to the right where the camera angle uh, just transitions over across the right. Now what you can do is you need to get your footage. So I've taken some footage earlier over here, and what you need to do is basically with your camera. I can't really illustrate this to you guys, but it's pretty straightforward. You just need to get your footage and have your camera to the left of, well, for the first clip, you need to have it centered and you want to swivel down and to the right. And then what you want to do for the second clip is start vertical, uh, for bottom left, and then drag up and to the right. And that'll create a transition motion as with like a curve. And, you know, with my phone, the uh, motion blur is always really extreme, so this effect uh, works well. Uh, but if you're using a camera, then you want to turn the shutter speed down. So if you're saying you record at 24 FPS, you want to have the shutter speed at 24 or lower, and that'll give you that nice uh, blur effect. So you can see here in my footage, I've taken a few just as a test. And that one doesn't have much blur, but the uh, more blur, the better. So just find a clip where you want to, to make the best motion, you want to have a keyframe not just before it starts but rather once you've already started so you can see these here i'm just you know, not doing much but once i actually start moving quickly and you get that blur effect that's when you want to start the um actual you want to cut it so right here we're going to go snip and then we'll go across until our footage is you know just still and we'll snip it there so we'll drag that out and this is actually the second half so now you're going to go in the first half so we'll go along here so if we go to the right, we just scroll through our footage to find a good bit. Oh, this is actually my first take. I need to get the right take here. Okay, here we go. So we've got my still footage. So we'll just snip there. And then as we go across, you can see I swivel down and to the right. And again, you want to cut it while the motion's still going on, not, not when you've stopped. So we'll snip it right there. So we can get our two bits and we can drag them over. Now I'm going to zoom in on these and what we're going to do is basically just get your footage and just basically just overlay it. So you want to have a quick uh, cross blur or you know, cross fade just to make it a bit smoother. So we play that back there, that actually worked uh, really well. And then you can add a uh, cinematic uh, whoosh kind of sound effect. So I'll actually leave a download link below to this YouTube video you can download and it just has a bunch of different ones. So just pick one you like. So if we listen to this here, you can see it's just a nice whoosh sound. You can, it doesn't really matter. You can pick what, uh, whatever one you want. And I've already uh, lowered the volume to negative five decibels and just put that where your effect sits. And then there you go, pretty nice effect. Uh, pretty straightforward and uh, mainly just about your camera work and make sure your camera shutter speed is uh, low. Uh, now the next one is the uh, zoom in or the you know zoom blur in and out kind of effect. So if we go over to the timeline here, you can see I've already got my footage set up. And what you want with this is no specific kind of thing you have to do with your footage, but uh, you will need the plug-in Real Smart Motion Blur. So just keep that in mind. I'll leave a link down below to my video I did a while ago. Now I did do that video in Sony Vegas 13, but it will work for any version of Vegas. Really straightforward, just go download it through AdFly, you know, follow the tutorial. Uh, some people might have some problems, but if you just follow the tutorial, really straightforward. So just do that, come back, and then you'll all be good. So you've got my footage here, no weird camera angles, just you know, still solid footage. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna need just some keyframing. So what we're gonna do is click on this uh, video, that button there, which is the pan crop button, which is the pan crop button. So we can just do some basic keyframing. Now you wanna always make sure that you've got this button pressed down in the bottom left, just to make sure whatever you're viewing on this timeline here, uh, syncs with this timeline here and your video playback. So we're gonna go to the very end here. I wanna set this to be a little bit, so we'll actually go one frame back, and we wanna be this to be zoomed uh, pretty far. You know, however far you want your zoom to be, it's uh, really your choice. So we'll do it in about there. And then what we'll do is we can go back to the beginning here. We'll delete this keyframe. 
and then we can right click and just restore and then as we go along you should see it slowly getting closer and closer to the center now we do the same thing for this clip track motion and then we go across uh, one frame and then what we want to do is do it zoomed in but not quite as much somewhere between you know rest the 100% view and what the other one was so we'll do it about there and I'll just check what this other one was yeah okay definitely somewhere between the two and then you can go just actually delete this original frame and then just put that back there so it starts off in this uh, size and then we can go to the very end and then we can right click and actually you want to go one frame back and right click and hit restore now these are quite long clips so just whatever length this clip is that's how long your transition is going to last so what you actually want to do is now you can pick how long you want the transition to be so starting uh, on the second we'll go maybe uh, 10 frames over and what we can do is just hit split and then in this one we might go uh, to make it a bit smoother we'll go 15 frames back maybe and hit split there and then if we click on here this uh, what we're going to do is want to get rid of all these keyframes so just click this x so just click this drop down and then click default and then you can just delete the other keyframes so that just keeps that at default uh, if you want to save some time you can probably just crop that uh, before rather than afterwards although it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter and then we'll just drag this keyframe to the beginning go to the beginning and then you know all good there so now if we play this back you can see your footage and it zooms in and it zooms out but that's rather you know juddery doesn't look very good uh, so the, you know not very good basically not a very good outcome so what we're going to do is we want to use that plugin which is the real smart motion blur and that just gives you that really nice motion blur when you uh, you know you zoom in and then you eventually zoom out so just check they all worked and you know so we go through here zooms in and then zooms out so this is where we need real smart motion blur so we're going to go to our video effects and scroll all the way down to R And here we go, real smart motion blur. We can drag this onto both of them. We'll just do this one first. So if I zoom in here, and we can see that it gives you this really nice blur effect as you go in, but it's quite subtle. So we want to, uh, you know, make this a bit more intense. So we're going to drag that slider up, and as you can see, just whatever, you, how much you drag that up, just increases the uh, blur amount basically. So what I'd recommend, because that's way too extreme, and get some distortion. We'll try maybe a one. And we'll just see how that turns out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this. And then we'll drag a real smart motion blur onto that clip as well. And then we'll set that to 1 as well. Now if we just play this back, it's probably going to be quite laggy as real smart motion blur does require a, you know, quite a bit of computing power. So you may have noticed some lag. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to render this here and then I'll be back in a minute. Now before you render it, a little bit of a crossfade between the two always helps just to blur it a bit better. So yeah, I'm going to render that now, and I'll be back once I've done that. So yeah, as you can see here, it just started rendering the blur, and it's just instantly lagged my software, so it really does just take a while to render this, so don't think your computer's being laggy or broken or anything like that. It's just how real smart motion blur takes. It just does this. I'm not really sure why, but just it's to be expected, basically. Okay, so it's finished. I'm going to open the folder, and I can just drag this in so we can view it here. So this is the final effect that we're going to have. So as you can see, that worked out really well. And again, a you know whoosh kind of sound always helps. So if we just find out where that transition really happens, the center is about there. So we can just drag this clip onto the middle, play that back here. So as you can see, that's pretty it. Yeah, you can always make that a bit shorter. It might be a little bit too slow, but you might like like that. It's really up to you. You can just muck around with these two kind of effects and uh, see which one you like best, how you want to set it out yourself, you know, what changes you can make to it. And yeah, basically just a pretty straightforward effect. So that's pretty it, guys. That is how you make the tutorial. You can, you know, kind of pick which one you like, which one you prefer, and muck around with it a bit, maybe change some of the speeds. And that's basically it. It's pretty straightforward. And you can use it in pretty much any kind of theme of video. So if this helped you guys, remember if it did, please have a like or if you consider subscribing if you're new. That's always really appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye.